next time you're out in the garden pulling weeds, don't forget to save some of them for your salad. Okay hey guys, I'm over here in my spinach patch and I have noticed that there's a lot of weeds. This one specifically is called mallow. It's a edible and it's actually really delicious in salads and so I have been picking mallow for my salad for a few months now and I absolutely love it. Salads can sometimes feel like you're not enough, but when I put mallow in my salad, it is very substantial and I'm really happy with how it, the flavor is as well. Mallow is a common weed that we find in our garden all over the place. It has many uses. Uh, here's a flower. Let's see if we can find one. It's almost going to bloom here. The flower seeds, um, people call them belly buttons or cheeses and uh, those are really tasty as well and so you could pick those and put them in your salad if it's a different time of year. But right now we're going to pick the leaves. Mallow root is actually really useful too. If you pull the whole plant up and save the roots and dry them, dehydrate them and chop them up and you can actually use them to replace rennet in your cheese. tell you guys about is called wild spinach um, also known as lamb's quarters it's delicious it actually tastes quite a bit like spinach and it's great in your salad an easy method I like to do is just take the whole top and pinch it we've actually stopped taking these out of the garden I know if they're growing over and like destroying the ability for another plant to grow, then we'll pull them out. But many times we're gonna, we've been leaving them in the garden because they're so great in salads. Oh, here we go, right next to each other. This is the best part of our garden. We've left all this mallow and then right next to it, lamb's quarters. So basically this is just a salad garden to us because it's, it's, there's no competition with uh, the other plants next to it. Here's the borage and the tomatoes and none of them are suffering so we just leave them here. Let them do their thing because they sure taste good. That's pretty much it for the weeds that we put all the time in our garden or in our salads. There's plenty of other edible weeds out there but those are the two most common in our garden and the easiest for us to identify. I know purslane is one that's actually not very common in our garden. It's very tasty so you can look that up or utilize that if it's in your garden and uh, yeah so be on the watch for some weeds. Uh, they really add a lot but I'm going to continue uh, picking my salads. I might as well bring you along and show you what else I put in. Actually let's stick some borage in here. Um, took a little while to get used to the texture of borage for my kids because it has that unshaven hairy texture but as far as taste it's incredible so we're gonna grab some of that now this is not a weed we planted this on purpose in our garden we just wanted to experiment we had it last year because we heard it grows it was good next to tomatoes you can actually eat the flowers also so we go ahead and harvest those. They just have a nice cucumber taste. It's just fun to add flavor and texture and beauty to the garden. And borage does all of that. We love it. That's not a weed, but yeah. Here's some beets. 
we were going to thin some of these beets out. They're getting really close together. So we are going to just grab some of those, use the greens in the salad, and the beets are really good in the salad too. This right here underneath my broccoli is nasturtium. Now, we learned afterwards that you're not actually supposed to plant nasturtium next to your uh, brassicas, but too late. Uh, they get, they're really good at attracting cabbage moths. So you would want to plant a whole bunch in your garden and then stick them way on the other end, not close to your broccoli. But we love adding these. Uh, they have a spicy taste and you can eat the flowers. They taste a little bit like radish. We really like them. This here is my dinosaur kale. And we like to put that in our salads. So we'll get a bunch. At the very end of its life here, but we've got bok choy. And that's really good. We found out this is a mustard plant. So we add these, they add a nice spice. We really like them. It's already gone to seed, but there's still some leaves, and so, well, we'll still harvest. Here's some four season lettuce in here. It is really at its end of its life, but we might as well utilize as much as we can. That's good. And last of all, peas. Um, we've been uh, picking a lot of pea shoots, but we really are getting into later in the season where we're going to want to wait for peas. So we just cut the pea leaves or pinch them. And those are great too. Thanks to you guys for hanging out with me and joining me while I pick this salad. And uh, I hope you guys have a really great day. See ya. If you guys haven't already seen it, go ahead and check out Lizzie's recipe on how to make your own salad dressing. It's really yummy. Super easy. Also, Trent's been really working hard on paintings, so if you want to check out his art channel, you can see some of the paintings that he's done. Make sure you like and subscribe to that as well if you are interested in that kind of thing. That's why it's basically been me for a couple episodes, because he's been working hard getting some paintings done for some of his galleries. And uh, we're so glad that you guys have been watching and joining us, and we appreciate all the comments that you guys give, and we appreciate all of your support. Thanks.